Good morning, good morning, good morning mga repa And it is 6.20 a.m. Today is September 8th, Sunday And we are going to get ready for my CBT Because I've got my provisional license already Let's go guys! Um, kahain muna tayo ng breakfast And then the course starts at 8.30 a.m. So... Ayun, um, let's get ready. This is it, guys. So, guys, um, yeah, kape muna, and then ready na yung baon. Fried chicken for lunch. And it's going to be a sunny day today, which is in my favor because malamig na guys, so we need that heat of the sun to keep us warm. Guys, nakita niyo papasok natin si Marco sa kanyang mall na pinagtatrabaho. <laughs> eh, papasok na siya sa hospital, aga oh. Guys, ganyan ang mga model employee. 7.30 pa lang yung pasok, 6.30 pa alis na. Para makatulog pa sa ward na. <laughs> we are ready to go. Here we go. All propped up for the training. And uh, sabi ko nga that gagamitin ko ngayon yung helmet ko kasi ayaw kong gumamit ng helmet ng iba. All that sweat. All that salty. Uh, well, I'm ready. Um, medyo kaya kabahan ako. Tatay ako. Wait lang. We are now here at uh, ART Motorcycle Training for our CBT. This is Jude. He's my classmate. Hello. Say hi to the camera, mate. <laughs> You'll be in YouTube for this. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the, the bikes. 125cc. So later on, we'll be doing our... Uh, was it element B or C? <laughs> yeah. So, wish us luck, guys. And uh, we're gonna be out on the road later on. So watch out for that. I'll be recording some videos for this one. Mm -hmm. And you're going down a hill. How can we control the bike? Any thoughts? Well, you can go like that, but when you get a bigger bike and you're going downhill, it can start to get away from you. Because obviously, I can't really reach the brake. Um, yeah. Could do, but you might slip off. Could do, yeah. Yeah, you can turn around, go downhill that way. Oh, put it in first. Perfect. Well Pop it into gear. And then you use your clutch like a brake basically to do that. When we're moving the bikes, guys, what you want to do is get the bike at its balance point. So you can see there, that's about upright. And when you do that, bikes are so much easier to move, all right? It's really easy like that. But if you haven't leant over, it's a lot of hard work. Uh -huh. So whenever you're moving bikes, try and get to the balance point, and then the bike can basically move quite easily without too much effort. Right? What we're going to do now is just do a little figure of eight walking with the bikes. When you're walking with them, what I like you to do is just get a feel for that front brake. Try and use all four fingers on the brake. And you'll realise, as you already know actually, that if you use the front brake at slow speed, it can be quite strong, so we need to be quite delicate with it. So take control of the bikes, and um, either if you put the on, the two behind, and come towards me. That's it, walking towards me now. All four fingers on the brake, so you can, that's it. Just get a feel for that front brake. Yeah, it's quite strong. Look it up, look at where you want to go. Big wide loop. And then going back through the cones here for me. And then you're going to loop all the way back round back to your start point. So what I like to do now is to walk the bike. Keep straight, but I want you to walk the bikes backwards for me. Again, take a lot of bikes and look at where you want to go. Nice and relaxed. Perfect. And uh, stand down for me. Right. Happy bike. What we'll do now is just adjust the mirrors for me, make sure that you're happy you can uh, see behind you. What you need is to keep your left foot on the ground. And I want you to put your right foot up on the rear brake. You don't need the front brake, you want to put the hands on the bars. So this is now hands on the heavy believers, that's it. So this is called the safety position. This is a really good place 
basic which is to stop the which I think the benefit is you stop the lift so you've got more control of the bike on a hill start using the rear brake. Okay, you've got a slimmer profile on this side if traffic's passing. It's quite a good position to stop in. Obviously a bit of common sense if there's a hole in the ground, put your other foot down. But you know it's quite a good position to stop in because if there is a slope you can control it. Last thing of element B is uh, starting a stop in the bike. Jude, talk, me yeah. talk me through how we start a bike. So uh, first thing is uh, you put it into yeah. on and then um, make sure it's in neutral. Perfect. So it's in neutral, it's lighting green and uh, you uh, just press the clutch and then um, push the start button. The in, but you can yeah, the you can for safety. Um, yeah. Press the start button. Yeah. Lovely, do you want to do the same there? <laughs> I thought you snapped it off. Good. We're recording yet? Yeah, we are. We are. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> we are recording. Better be good now. I like him honestly. I'm going to come up to my hand. I'm going to do a nice smooth stop. Alright, so just stay there. Both of you first, right? Yeah. <laughs> my hips. <sighs> Damn. Guys, I'm here to control. When it's slow speed, it's so hard to control the bike. See, I veered off to the right a while ago, but we'll see. <laughs> Jude is doing a full turn, 360 down the course, and then to a controlled stop. That is nice, bro. Shit, and I've not ridden a manual for three years, so I hope I do as good as him. And I hope you can hear me. So guys, the important thing about slow speed maneuvers is the control of your proper control of your throttle and a little bit of clutch. Lovely, very nice. Pop yourself in the neutral for me. Hold on. Good. So you can see here that uh, Jude's riding around. Yep. Just gonna ride around. Just do a few loops. Get a feel for the bike. Okay. You know, be happy with it. If you want to change gear, that's fine. But mm -hmm. Make sure that you do it on the straight, nice and steady, and keep an eye over for each other. Okay. Eventually, I'll be standing over there. When I put my arm out like that, uh -huh. it's going to stop where I'm standing. Okay. okay. Yep. So we'll that, uh, bike. And then when you're ready, away we go. Here we go guys, so you just look where you're going to turn and trust the bike. We are only on first gear, but we're going to shift to second gear. Here we go guys. So no clutch riding guys, and I tried to shift, hindi pala umabot yung pa ako. I was planning to shift there, but uh, I guess I was too late. Oh, the applause pagka. All the way out to the last moment, posted in. It's quite cool actually. It's quite good strings. We're looking for, as you're up, so in fact, I'll do it from the direction you're going to be doing. So from back here, about this point here, you're going to change down back to first gear and then you're on half a clutch. Slow riding up. Okay. Yeah. I see. Clutch all the way up, well then you're so that it's easy to stop and it's easy to go. That's the kind of distance when we're out on the road, guys. About this distance back, you need to be in first gear, slow riding up, and then it's easy. 
Okay. I can't feel the shifter with the boots. Yeah. On the skills that you've just learned there, okay? So speed riding, first gear only, pedal in the clutch, rear brake only. And you see the two yellow cones there, you can go through the middle of them, and then you can do a figure of eight using the yellow cones. Key to success on this, guys, is have enough power. Sometimes people try to do it too slowly, and they end up kind of wobbling around like this, uh -huh. whereas if you keep the forward motion going, then you get a little bit of flow. You can lean the bike a little bit. Okay? The other thing is to look where you want to go. Right? So even as I'm coming through the middle of the coast, I'll show you here, if you're coming through here, nice big wide loops, don't try to do anything tight, way out there, and then turn your head like this. Looking where you want to go. So even though the bike's pointing in that direction, I'm looking at where I want to go. Leading the bike there. You see how wide I'm coming here? Yeah. Don't make a difference to yourself. And then what we're doing is we're coming straight to the middle. And it's very tempting to start looking at the yellow cone and then it all gets a bit tight. Don't look at the yellow cone. Remember we talked about peripheral vision? Yeah. Yep. It deals with it. And when we come on to do the slalom, it's not part of the CBT, but we'll do it because it's fun and also because if you want to do your full test, that is also part of the full test, so let's, let's get used to it, yeah? And what you've got to get used to is not looking at the cones, all right? Because you stare at them, you go towards it. So nice and wide, riding around, turning your head. What I said about tension, if you find your tension up, grip on with your legs. Fantastic. Yes sir, putang ina naninigas yung kamay ko Pero I'm gripping with my legs I hear this is the most difficult one in the exams The you said Look at that space but Yeah Yeah side of the road I've checked my GPS and it's like ah take the wrong turning I've got to turn around um what's the first thing pardon me what's the first thing that I'm gonna do before I come away from that um check your check your sides your blind spots yeah I'm check the mirror and a shoulder check but because we're doing a U-turn to be honest with you I'd check over here as well we want to make sure there's nothing on the pavement that's going to cause us a problem but the last place that we look is roadside all right, particularly on your module one, if you don't do that final check before you pull away, that's it. All right, so it's very important. Okay. Good check, make sure it's all clear. Move forward. Lifesaver. Turn it all right round. Little bit of rear brake, little bit of rear brake. Stop you on the rear brake. Because we're quite close to the fence, we're going to do another one. We'll just walk backwards a little bit. 
Damn, looks easy. <laughs> Whoa, damn. You also noticed there, you may have heard the revs. Yeah. Okay. And that's really important, particularly for you guys going on to ride the bigger bikes, because if you don't have a bit of revs and you're turning the bike, I'm speaking from personal experience here, right, and you don't have enough revs, the bike will stall. And if you're on a bigger bike lent over and it stalls, you're going over. All right, or you back a little bit. <coughs> Lovely. So just stay there a moment. Let's see if we're going to have a U turn, please. Okay. Make sure your lifesaver, you look with your eyes. You kind of move to your head. I'm not sure how much you actually saw. Okay. Make sure you look with your eyes. Okay. Nicely done. The other thing I would say, put yourself in a neutral for a second, is you were controlling your speed with the throttle. I heard it come on and off, on and off. But actually, you don't want to do that. You want to keep steady revs and you control your speed with the clutch. Okay. Paddle yourself back so you're ready to do another one and just. There, we want you actually next to the pavement. Okay. Yeah. When yeah. you're turning, you, you made the turn, but you look quite tense. Uh -huh. Actually, can you feel the tension? In yeah, you? I did. I did. So what I want you to do is to really concentrate. Get away with the one, two, five. If you want to do it on the bigger bikes, try and get that weightiness. So when you're about to do the U-turn, really grip the tank and yep. help your arms relax. Okay. So back there, we'll try another one. Well, fundamentally, that's great. You've got the basics. There. Let's just uh, rush up on that. Uh, relaxing on the bike. Much better. Yeah. I'm still trying my. Uh, I'm still trying to get used to hugging the tank. Okay. She was a